Um, I started boxing um, at about 10 years old. I started getting my first amateur fights in. I only trained for a couple months. Started um, started getting amateur fights. Had about 100 amateur fights. Turned pro at 20 years old, I think, about four years ago. Um, my dad, big, um, just a big fan of the sport, so he just kind of brought me to the gym and we just we kind of got it in. I started, I got picked it up. Me and my brother kind of kind of went to the gym and I kind of just stuck with it, you know, for till now. <laughs> um, well, my first year, I, I only had like probably like six fights when I went to the Silver Gloves and um, I lost at the state finals, but um, I beat a few guys to get there and um, I felt like I felt like I just had a had a natural uh, had a natural ability at it. Just a good little you know athletic fighter, good bounce good bounce on my feet and um, I just stuck with. It. I liked it. It's something I like to do and I just ended up being good at it. So here I am still doing it. Oh uh, well. Um, I was lucky to have two good parents that love me, you know, and um, I grew up, you know, of course they're separated now, but um, I grew up with um, two good parents that love me and, and um, you know, a lot of people you know, in Fresno don't, you know, have that that parent parent background, you know, that got people looking out for them. So I'm glad I had that, but um, yeah, just, um, I grew up in, um, you know, Southeast Fresno and Food Town and, um, you know, I get, I get messages sometimes from people that, you know, know me from the from when I was a little kid, like, hey, you made it out of the out of the hood, you know, blah blah blah. But um, you know, I've had I've been blessed to have good parents that always try me not to get into too much trouble. And you know, I got in a little bit of trouble, but you know, I stayed out of not too much trouble. You know, good kid, good kid. <laughs> yeah, they'll never call me um pretty boy Floyd. You know, I've been having scars, you know, from my arm to my right thigh, you know, my chest, my face. You know, since I was not even two years old, I think it was before my for my second birthday. And, um, you know, I get red when I spar. You know, I got a little, um, it's a little tight some right here sometimes when I get, you know, I'm growing, you know, I can feel a little tightness on my right arm, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, it happened, you know, um, happened for a reason. I don't know the reason yet, you know, only God knows, but, um, you know, I'm still here, I'm healthy, and um, it doesn't restrict me too much, you know, I'm good. It just gets a little red sometimes with a few punches, so. But it ain't it ain't no biggie. Um, I'm here. I'm alive, and I was just had in extensive care for a few weeks. You know, after the accident happened, but um, you know, I'm still here, 24 years old, and I'm healthy, and you know, I'm just happy about that. Um, well, it's been going it's been going great so far. I had you know one hiccup last year with my first taking my first professional loss against Kyron Davis, but um, I bounced back with two very good wins against the. Uh, Undefeated um, guy on the Mayweather under McGregor under undercard, which is a good win. Then I came back in December and, and knocked the guy out in the first round. And February 17th, I'll be fighting um, another guy who's 14 to one. So you know, I'm fighting tough fighters, you know, um, and I'm winning, you know, most of them except that one, which I hope to get back someday. So um, I'm doing great and I'm just looking to just keep improving. Hopefully that I'm a great world champion. You know that's the goal. If, if you're if you're doing this and you don't really have that in mind, I think um, you're in the wrong sport. Um, I'm doing this because I could believe I could be a world champion and I got the tools to be one. And so that's what I'm striving to be. And then once I get there, you got to try to stay there. You know, for as long as you can. You know, this sport you could only last so long. I'm 24 years old, so I got um, you know, 10 in 10, 15 years I'll probably be retired. So. I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get the job done right now.